In this video, we'll see a different representation for presenting the nodes in XOR space that emphasizes the connection between nodes in addition to presenting the tree structure that is underlined by the address space. Previously, we saw the tree structure like this with um, nodes ranging from 0 to 15 on the leaf layer. The problem with that representation is, is that all nodes are on the same line at the bottom of the tree. And when we try to represent the connection in between these different nodes, all the connections are overlaid on top of one another. So it becomes really hard to tell them apart. So rather than putting them on a line, we'll put them on a circle. And in order to do that, we'll have to transform the tree we've seen so far in order to embed it inside a circle. Since we're used to see increasing numbers and clockwise on a circle, we'll first flip the tree along the middle axis so that the numbers will go from 0 to 15 by going from right to left so that when we wrap all the numbers around the periphery of the circle, they'll go in clockwise order. Then we'll do the second transformation in two steps. We'll first split the entire tree in two sections and then wrap these two sections around a circle. And now we can see that the number do increase in clockwise fashion and we see the structure of the tree we've seen previously embedded inside that circle. So the two major subtrees of the tree are split along the middle axis. One is on the right and one is on the left. And then that tree gets further split into the different part of the subtrees. That tree structure embedded in the circle now gives us an intuition of the distance of the different nodes in between themselves. So we can see that 0 and 1 are closer to one another because they're part of a smaller subtree. Then 0 is to 15, which is part of a completely different subtree. And we can now represent the different machines as dots on the periphery of that circle and represent the connection in between the different machines as lines in between these dots.